we're uh, looking at today uh, 99996. We're going to do our test drive, uh, get you familiarized with uh, what you should be looking at when test driving a car, what's normal, what to expect. This particular car is a six speed with a Tiptronic model. What you're looking for is smooth operation of the automatic transmission. If the shifts are slow or uh, clunky, more than likely all that's needed is that the fluid be serviced on the transmission. The uh, Tiptronic gearboxes are bulletproof in those vehicles. First impressions, clutch is good in this car. The clutch pedal doesn't require excessive force. Uh, if you're driving one of these cars and the clutch pedal is real hard, more than likely the vehicle needs uh, a new clutch. There's some speed bumps on what I'm looking to feel when I'm going over the ruts in the road and speed bumps, anything that feels out of the ordinary. Transmission shifts smoothly, first to second, not seeing anything with the synchros. Try to get a little bit more speed here. Have a little bit of a railroad crossing here to... This particular car has a great alignment. It's going straight. Tires, there's no shaking of the steering wheel. Applying the brakes. It's not pulling, it's smooth. Second gear from th uh, going from third to second. Synchros are good. No grinding or dragging. One of the great things with the uh, 986 and the 996, uh, it's a cold day today. Uh, it's uh, below freezing outside right now. Uh, we just started up the car. There's already hot air coming out. Uh, the HVAC system in these cars are great, um, especially if you drive it year-round. You have heat quicker than most any other car. Uh, likewise, 996s, especially a C4 model, set of winter tires on the car, great for year-round use. Uh, my wife drives a Boxster year-round in Chicago winters. Uh, just you don't go any deep snow driving, but with a set of winter tires on the car, it's very enjoyable drive, uh, very comfortable. Uh, long distance drives, I personally drive a lot uh, between Chicago and Atlanta, and uh, very you drive 10, 12 hours, and you're not tired when you get out of the car. Uh, plus, it's great going through the mountains, all the twisty roads. You don't get that excitement uh, with your uh, run-of-the-mill Econo box. With the speed limits that we have right here where we're test driving, we really don't have the option of highway speed, but it'd be great if you can uh, to take the vehicle up to highway speed, see how the vehicle handles uh, its manners at uh, say 65, 70. Um, if the tires are uh, flat spotted or uh, old and need replacing, uh, you might notice uh, thumping or uh, uh, like a grinding noise or something from the tires that just doesn't feel right, sound right. Maybe the car needs new tires. It's real easy. There, uh, you can Google the dot co uh, DOT codes on the tires and determine the age of the tires. And likewise, uh, you can uh, check the tread depth on the tires. And uh, with a lot of these cars that don't get driven a whole lot, uh, that the tires will age out before the tread wear life. Uh, is, is uh, used up. So tires, you'll be replacing tires by age, usually on these cars, than by uh, mileage. This particular model, uh, the previous owner upgraded the radio. It doesn't have the factory uh, head unit, which it's common uh, if you, when these cars get higher up in the years of age, the rubberized buttons get gummy and sticky. You can buy replacement uh, buttons on eBay, but most 
people nowadays want to just put a modern radio in so you have the Bluetooth connectivity, being able to listen to music on your phone, being able to answer the phone call and have hands free. However, there are solutions if you want to keep the original radio to, to dress up the uh, buttons going bad. This particular model has traction control. There's a button on the dash you can press to deactivate traction control. It was an option in the earlier cars to have traction control or not. Uh, my personal Boxster is a stripped down model. It does not have traction control, so it does not have a button to disable the traction control, which has a light on it on the dash and also in the instrument cluster to tell you that traction control has been disabled. Uh, this car has been upgraded and it has a 997 GT3 shifter, so it gives you a little bit shorter shift, uh, crisper, more positive engagement, where the stock shifter has a little bit longer throw. Again, it's personal preference. If the vehicle that you're looking at is equipped with heated seats, being a 986 or 996, right in the center stock, you have your controls for the windows, and then you also have there the controls for the heated seats. I can tell you this model does not have heated seats. My Boxster, uh, you can retrofit in seats from another model that had heated seats. They'll just bolt right in. You can add the buttons, buy the harness from Porsche. It's a very inexpensive upgrade to put heated seats in, especially if you drive the car in a colder climate. Uh, the heated seats are amazing. They will cook you out of the seat if you leave it on high too long. So when you're driving, you can just kind of go back and forth with the car, feel if there's any excessive body roll, if there's any play in the steering. But realistically, these vehicles are very well made. We don't see uh, any problems with the steering racks in the cars, uh, the shock absorbers, they're great from the factory. Uh, you can buy replacements, uh, Bilstein Sports, uh, you can put that on there. Again, a lot of the wear and tear components on these cars are very budget conscious. Uh, so maintenance and upkeep on a 986 or 996 is not really all that much different than if you had, uh, say, an Audi A6. Uh, it is a modern German vehicle. Parts are readily available. Uh, for the do-it-yourselfers, the cars are very friendly uh, to work on. Uh, there's nothing really complicated or requiring a factory computer to work on the cars like the newer vehicles that they're a lot more difficult to work on. So this is the perfect, it's a perfect marriage of uh, in true enthusiast vehicle, the heritage of a Porsche but also it's modern enough that you can live with it day in, day out, have to drive in traffic, uh, or take very long drives. And if you do your regular maintenance on the cars, they are very reliable. Like I said, my wife drives a Boxster year round in Chicago, uh, and she's happy with it. My daughter loves it. It's one of her favorite cars to go to school in. And I drive the car thousands of miles a year uh, that, uh, I would recommend to anybody who's looking at a 986 or 996 to really consider uh, one of these vehicles as uh, a daily driver. And again, the C4 models are excellent. Uh, all you have to worry about really with a C4 in a, uh, over this C2 model is that it's been maintained properly. Front diff, uh, you want to listen to whine. If the front differential has uh, wear in it, you'll hear it. Uh, really all you have to do to prevent that is just service it and make sure it has fresh fluid in it. Uh, that uh, And the cars are phenomenal in the snow. Uh, short of uh, a C4 996, a Cayenne's about the only thing better in, in deep snow. Uh, that the ground clearance is your biggest issue with a 996 in very heavy uh, snow.